Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss uh, further into integrals and average value, and now look at the mean value theorem for integrals. Uh, basically, if uh, if you have let's say a temperature t of t at time, yeah, just a temperature at time t, we might wonder if there is a specific uh, time when temperature is the same as the average temperature. For example, if you look at this graph right here and this temperature function below, there are two such times, one's before noon and one is just after midnight. For example, if you look at this, if this is the temperature throughout the day, this is at, at, at midnight, this is at noon. As you can see, if this is the average value in red right here, so just before noon and just before midnight, in this case, um, basically the temperature is equal to the average temperature across the whole day. Yes, but in general now the question uh, remains, is there a number C such that um, yes, yeah, such, such that the value of a function f is exactly equal to the average value of the function, or in other words, f of c is equal to f of average. So this is just an example I did, but, but is this always the case in general? Well, the following theorem says that this is true for continuous functions, and this is known as the mean value theorem for integrals. Basically, if f is continuous on the closed interval a and b, so this includes a and b, then there exists a number c inside a and b such that basically f of c is equal to f average, and this equals to, like I showed in my earlier video on integrals and average value, this is going to be 1 over b minus a, or the width for a positive function and then now uh, this is going to be the area under the curve from a to b of f of x dx now you could write this as if you just rearrange this multiply by multiply the b minus a on on the left side so you'll get the area f of x dx is equal to f of c times it by uh, b minus a a. Yeah, and, uh, and basically, yeah, so this is the mean value theorem. And now this mean value theorem is a direct consequence of the basic or the derivative version of mean value theorem. You can see that one in the video link below and also the fundamental theorem of calculus. I'll do the proof in the later video. Uh, basically, but, the, yeah, but if we look at this in the geometric way or the geometric interpretation of the mean value theorem for integrals, is that basically for a positive function f there is a number c such that the rectangle with base a to b and height yeah height f of c has the same area as the region under the graph of f from a to b for example yeah i'll just draw this out so if we have a function like this this is x this is y so let's say it's something like this, yeah, something like like that. So basically, if this is your function, this is f of x, and this is from a to b, then then the mean value theorem says that there is a number c or a height c that if you were to take, let's say this is just shade this in as the area under this curve. Yeah, so now this the theorem says that if you take the average value of this, let's say it will look something like this. I'll draw it in red. So we draw it in red and I'll highlight this area on underneath this rectangle. So then basically this height right here is, is going to be our height f of c, where this value right here is c so basically at this value is going to have the average height and this equals to f average and it's basically saying that uh, this this area here area in red is equal to this area in black and i'll just write that down right here so area in black so area in black is equal to the area in red and that is basically they're saying that for any continuous function there is going to be a number C such that this is the case. Yeah, and my textbook actually uses the analogy of being able to chop off a mountain 
at a certain point and basically using it to fill fill in the valleys so that the mountain becomes completely flat so that's basically what we did over here we basically cut this off and put it here but we, but we cut it off at this point C so we cut off the whole thing at this height and at this point so you could do this pretty much for anything uh, any continuous function you could just cut it off make it flat so that's pretty much all the mean value theorem is saying but I'll do a concrete proof of it in the next video anyways that's all for today hopefully you learned from this video and like always you could download this exact uh, these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution